What's up, y'all? Happy Tuesday. Yo. It's, up? It, it feels weird being a Tuesday, right? Yeah, I mean, we're you, we're Monday people, right? Like, crush the open is a, is a Monday thing, but this is the beginning of the week. This is I gotta it. Get, oh, there we go. I got video. I know it's a uh, it's a short week. Jeff, you were telling me you were at the uh, a nice hotel. I don't know if we can even say the name anymore because it might imply too much lifestyle and having a a few hundred dollar <laughs> Italian dinner. But yeah, no, we uh, we lived it up. We lived it up a little bit this weekend. You know, Florida's really like. Florida, people are bitching down here that it's been hot, but I like hot. That's why I live in the state anyways. So, but it was like, you know, it, it was like the same hot. probably yeah. weather in Tampa, right? It was like in the mid eighties all weekend, wonderful sunshine. So we went over the way, we headed over to the West coast, we went to Naples and, uh, you know, lived it up, went to a nice pool. Like the beach is not great out there, but went went to a nice pool, whatever, had drinks, just, you know, enjoy time with the family, decompress, enjoy the sunshine, get some vitamin D. It's important. Yeah, I, w I went to the Springs uh, yesterday, the Wiki Wachi. Oh, and yeah? Where's that at? That's in, like, north, like, Ocala area? No. No, not that far. It's a little bit north of Tampa, like an hour north. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, you go, like, kayaking. They have, like, the glass bottom kayaks, paddle boards and stuff. But it was funny because I went paddle boarding and I dove the spring, just, like, snorkel and stuff. But you really see like i mean i i feel like i'm decently florida out you know like barefoot fucking walking around and you know, on the boat and shit like that you're a florida man you don't have to yeah. sell we all know but that you, but you see the real florida people at the springs <laughs> like the people with like two teeth like with the random tattoos like you know like the 100 pound guy with the 300 pound girl like drinking freaking beers on the kayak like the boat's halfway tipped up I love like it. you see the real Florida people I love uh, at the Springs, you know, like, yeah, like, man, that like when you see like a wild Florida man, like in the news, those are the people that are at the Springs because you got to figure people that are using nothing. people that are using the cooler as also a flotation device to go down the spring. Exactly. While they're drinking their Milwaukee's best, while yeah. they're, you know, smoking 10 cigarettes with eight vape pens and their Not cousins, the their that. sister. Nothing no. wrong with that. They're enjoying life. Nothing wrong now, with that. Now, I will say, the people are very happy. They're very yeah, happy fun. people. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also, too, you got to think, when you live in the middle of nowhere, like, mm. they're probably a couple hours from beach, everything. Mm -hmm. The springs are all you got. That Walmart. And, uh, and these people, you know, we're having fun. So, sometimes people in my family get a little bit you know, soft and complaining this, that we're in this weird place. I take them, you know, for the culture, I take them to all kinds of shit. This weekend we were yeah. in a fancy hotel, fancy pool, but it's not always that way. We like to, I like to do the, the nature stuff too, the hiking, the trails, the camping, that stuff too. And sometimes, sometimes they're complaining and they're like, you know, we're in this place. Why are we, why'd you bring this here? And I'm like, listen, wherever you go, there you are. You're there, right? You got to figure out what the locals like to do in that location. And so if yeah. you go to like North Florida and there's that beautiful natural spring and there's manatees and shit, live like they do. Well, there, there was no manatees. Oh, they but, know, yeah. No, no manatees uh, yesterday, but there, there usually is, though. I guess it just wasn't uh, season. Jeff, give me one second, by the way. Yeah. So obviously, <laughs> obviously, my guy's walking outside uh market looks like a little bit shit we'll get to that we like to ease our way into this show for all those of you that are new to this we talk about some we talk about some random things we talk about the weekend soon we're going to have like a show format it's going to look like an espn thing we're trying to work on that we're sick of this zoom thing this zoom shit reminds me of covid when people were like having like those lame parties on covid i hated that people are like let's have a cocktail party on covid i'm like i do cocktail parties in real life or i don't do them but we want our show to look like a show and you're going to have, you're going to see, my point is you're going to see different segments. So like in the beginning, we're going to have this, like what happened over the weekend, what news. So we start usually with a little bit light banter about what the heck we did this weekend, but then we're going to move on to maybe some news topics. So like I, I was brief, I was briefing them Lance about like the format of the show, how we're trying to get like a, a cooler visual, like a real show look. Yeah. Yeah. Open. Eventually it's going to look like an ESPN show or something. 
because I'm sick of the Zoom shit. It reminds me of those I know. I hate, parties from COVID. I don't like it. I hate yeah. Zoom. I'm over it. I'm like, we're gonna I, you're have right. The segments, you're right. Though, right? We're going to have the set. So people, I'm, you know, people who haven't seen it before, they're like, why are they talking to stocks? We'll get to that. But in the beginning, we talk about light banter, what we did over the weekend, some funny stories. Then we get to the news, right? Like maybe some news stories. Like how about Sleepy Joe showing up in uh, Ukraine out of the blue yesterday? That's kind of wild. I right? know. It's kind of wild. I didn't expect that. Well, I guess I guess we give them so much money. You know, we got to get we got to get at least something worth, right? You know, you, know? They, you know how much they've gotten? Do you know the number? No, I, I don't want to know. I really uh -huh. don't want to know. I'm into I'm into money. I'm into the numbers. 150 <laughs> billion dollars. 150. Try 150. So to put that in perspective, and we wonder why. Like, go ahead. Uh, say what? Wonder why inflation, everything's so high when we're just giving countries 150 billion. Wow. wow. Bro, 150 billion is like the size of their GDP. Okay, but 150 that'd be like someone giving us 14 trillion dollars or something to that effect. Okay. We 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 would basically. Be out, be out of a uh, uh, debt, or which we're raising the ceiling again. Ain't uh, nobody giving America three hundred or a trillion dollars. Hell no. Yeah, are people, hell are taxpayers no. from other countries giving you money, Lance? Are you getting? I don't think so. Anyway, no. I don't think we're so. never going to see the money ever again. By the way, ever, <laughs> bro. Yeah, we'll, anyway. ne we'll never see a dollar return on that money. Well, that's so. why you still have the stickiness. I mean, like Lance just cooked like forty-five dollars worth of eggs right there in front of us. That's, That's right. Why you have that inflation and that stickiness, right? Dude, That's the problem. That's the problem. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe they'll open up like a foundation over there where they like you know give uh, uh, you know, with the uh, the the Biden initiative where you know they can visit and uh, go on yachts and stuff like that. A few years. Yeah. I know. I know. it. Maybe he could visit Ohio and drink some of that toxic water that those poor people are having. To yeah. Yeah, that, that was uh, that was making some news. Uh, I just saw the uh, uh, Pete, good old Pete. Uh, uh, what's his name? The transitory guy. Pete Budelich. Budelich. Yeah. Oh, God. That's a whole other story. But let, let's get into Jeff. Let's get into some of these shit markets, because that's what they've been. I mean, another another shit open. Home Depot, Wally World missing. I mean, it's you know what's bad though about the market. It's a tough tape. It's a tough tape. It's a bipolar you, tape, right? The worst part of it is you. It, it's hard to buy puts because yeah. it's not like a crash. It's like a ugh, with volatility coming out. So even if you do have puts, you're not having a big enough move. In a quick, aggressive move to make money. So, in a in a normal scenario, and you nailed a, an incredible point. So, in, in in a normal scenario, right, the market's like steadily up, steadily up, steadily up, and then it has like a it has a severe it has these severe shock drops, right? Yeah. So yep. you can get paid on puts and those because the market's not pricing it. It's unexpected when it happens. It's a shock, right? And so the markets slow up. They say the market takes what the escalator up and then the elevator down. Oh. We're reversed out right now. We're having like this like slow selling. And then we get these mega spikes to the upside where they, everybody has to buy every stock of 15%, 20%. And so it's like, we're kind of in that reverse, like, you know, bizarro world where the calls will get like a little bit cheap. They'll look expensive, but the calls start to get cheap uh, out of the blue, you know? Yeah, I, what, I'm, what I'm hoping, Obviously, buying short-term calls is not working out right now, right? But even, I would argue even buying puts is not working out because unless you close out the puts on a big cap down. No, oh, yeah. To be randomly in the stock market, long calls or long puts is terrible. But It's, it's difficult. Very, but it, very. But it's as you've been saying and as I've been saying, it's becoming more of a pro's tape, right? It's becoming more of a stock picker's tape, picking your spots and not doing a lot, not doing so many things, not doing a lot. Not being all in the market with all your money. Very They're, small. And targeted, right? Targeted in one stock, big catalyst potential. Let me share my screen. Let's look at some stuff. Yeah. Someone mentioned that uh, Sigma, that uh, lithium name that Elon Musk might buy out. But you, I mean, unless you bought the stock, you really can't trade it. The options are, uh, a lot of the stuff is so priced in. It's just, it's very, very hard to pick. 
you know, let's a this week. Player. Let's see what we've got this week. I know that we've got some major numbers coming up, like in the beginning yep. of March. It's kind of slowish now, um, in terms well, of week, like economic. Go ahead. This week got what PMI later today. Uh, mm-hmm. I think home sales, and then what FOMC tomorrow. The minutes. FOMC minutes is going to be interesting because I think you have like an incredible dichotomy within the Fed of people that are like, "Yo, dude." You need to keep raising rates. And then, you know, homeboy loves stocks, right? Like he's a junkie. We know that Jay Powell is, is corrupt. We know that he's a crony. We know that he takes care of his cronies. And we know invariably he likes the market to be bullish and he doesn't give a shit about bubbles. We know that. He leans in that direction, right? So he loves, he loves a good bubble. So I think he feel like he did the dirty work and like, it's intact. Everything's intact. But there's some people within his group there at the Fed that are not as corrupt as, and as beholden to asset prices as him that are looking at inflation and looking at the jobs market and saying, yo, dude, we need to take the terminal rate, which is you know the top rate that it's going to end up at for those at, at home that don't know, to like 6%. Right now, it's around 5%. Maybe add an extra percent into that which I don't know if he's willing to go there yet. I think he needs more like massive shocks, which is why, why I'm even looking at these economic numbers, kind of beholden to it still. He put us in the spot. Yeah, we are. Sadly, we are dependent on it. It sucks. It but, you sucks. Know, yeah. You wake up every day and the only conversation you hear is inflation yields. It's like, That's, yeah. it's, you know, like, I don't know. That, like, we, are in, we are in that right now. Yeah, like I will say normally, Mm. If you have Home Depot and Walmart miss earnings, I feel like that would be a much bigger story. But I feel like it's really not this morning. But like, Walmart, I don't even think Walmart, I think Walmart might have guided like in line or a little bit lower, but did they miss? I know, I know Home Depot missed, but I, I, think I, I don't know. Like, the what? I think it came in soft, the guide. They beat. Oh, they beat. Oh. Walmart. Yeah, we guidance in Walmart. Yeah, Home Depot, Home Depot, the inventory we had issues. Home Depot is a different story, right? Home Depot is much more like correlated to the housing market, right? Yep. So if we look at like, and Home Depot's down a little bit more, and they <clears throat> they got it lower, but they they came kind of really in line. But it just shows you that shift of market sentiment, right? Like you have to beat convincingly to get rewarded, you know? But it's we'll see. I mean but you really- I mean, Home Depot housing's like I had some KBH puts that worked out pretty well. Housing mm-hmm. has came down. Remember, the home builders were super strong up they until were. a couple weeks ago. So how you know the home builders are coming down? I actually think that's probably a healthy thing. I just wish we see a rotation into tech and the shit stocks again. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's fun. It's fun when the shit stocks are going. Don't you up think we're fun. going to? Don't you think we're going to? I think there's a few that report this week, but I think we're going to. You, you do have NVIDIA, as everyone's saying in the chat. I mean, NVIDIA is not a shit stock. It's more of a high growth, uh, you know, obviously a chip, but it does move kind of the junky stocks with it. It's kind of like the king of like the, the Kathy Wood junky stocks. Like if it starts rolling, like let's say you get NVIDIA up 5% after earnings, you're probably going to have the cues catch a bid that day or the next Isn't day. Isn't it funny how like, hot and horny the people that we want that we, that are cr- that are chronics that are out there that are watching the show get for the earnings place we'll get to it guys the way this show flows is we go light banter some news stories over the weekend we'll do a little big picture discussion a little map we'll get to the meat we'll get to we'll get to it but you gotta just chill chill with me for a little while you know I don't want the the wine and caviar they just went down dirty Give them, give them the chocolate fudge cheesecake and then take them to the, uh, the Ritz. Well, I got buddies that play golf. We play golf. You know, that's what middle-aged suburban dads do. And on the golf course, there's different kinds of characters. There are some people that like to get effed up on the golf course. But, like, I like to play a couple of holes sober to see if I still know what I'm doing, right? And then maybe I'll have, like, a white claw or beer or something at, like, the seventh or eighth hole. But I know some of these chronics, they pull out a handle of fireball on the first oh, yeah. hole, and they go, let's go. And I'm like, no, dude, we gotta, we gotta, there's a, there's a process that has to happen here. No, no, go straight. <laughs> Those are the kind of people do it. I, I remember I would, I would bring this guy or one of my old bosses, he would bring 
uh, uh, the little things of Jack. Yeah. And he the would nippers. bring the nippers. And him, yeah. And him and his, uh, I don't know, what, VP or whatever, would yeah. bring a, a big blunt. Okay. <laughs> and then they would smoke cigars in between to cover up the smell. I don't go there. Homie doesn't they get were generous. I have ever seen that. Uh, but they love golf yeah. every, every weekend. Every weekend was the golf time. So no, because it seems like it's just like a, you know, just like a like a docile thing to do. But there's some rowdies out there. There's some rowdies yeah. now. Oh yeah. So but yeah, we got, we got. Did you hear? By the way, uh, I see some people mention Etsy. Did you hear about uh, Hindenburg with Etsy, the big no. short? Room? No. Are they like oh. calling out like? Are they saying like scam? Are they saying like? They're saying basically Etsy, this was their thing last week. Etsy's selling fake counterfeit goods. Yeah. Obviously, they have a big short position on the stock, right? But right. they're they're basically saying they're violating laws by ha by selling counterfeit goods and all this shit, trying to get Etsy to come down. And uh and it is it, I, if you look at the intraday action, it, you'll have like these big spike downs and stuff. But I yeah. think that's pressure on ebay too with the whole counterfeit you know like all I the fake ebay brands. has earnings this week they do they do i mean but let's let's think about this money let's laundry think. credit swiss got got popped uh, this morning but you know it's a bank though we don't care about the banks i mean credit swiss is a shit bank dude credit yeah, swiss is a bank that tried to like they, they tried to they tried to like infiltrate wall street the u.s market and compete I know this because I, I knew like the top guys at the um, in the hedge fund prime brokerage of credit. They're great. Some of the great dudes, they fired, you know, they got rid of these dudes many years ago. But for a while, this bank, you know, it's a Swiss bank, right? Who's right. made all their money by like being a Swiss bank, by having like really rich families and institutions park their cash, their gold, whatever in their accounts. But these guys probably did, like come in and with the big boys in the USA and take like eat Morgan Stanley's lunch and Goldman's lunch and shit in trading and failed miserably. Like they were totally unequipped to do any of that. So look at this stock, Credit Suisse. This is a, this is a basically a penny stock now. I know, isn't that wild? Isn't and that, it? it's wild because this is a you know one of the was at one point one of the biggest but, still twelve billion dollar market cap. At look that at Barclays too. Barclays. Barclays, it's a similar thing, mm -hmm. right? I don't know. The one of the things yeah. the U.S. does the best is finance. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we are really good at this stuff. I mean, we're really good at Wall Street. We're really good at monetizing stuff. We're really good about creating financial products, trading it. I mean, look at Goldman Sachs's chart over the last five years okay. compared Amazing. to Credit Suisse, <laughs> right? They're all Credit Suisse, Barclays, Deutsche Bank, all shit. Yeah, but they, they have been, to be fair. Look at this. Years. Look at this. These guys went up. These guys went. That's a money link right there. That's a link trade. That's a beautiful link trade. European banks, dog shit. I mean, that's like, you, you want to figure out a way to, like, lose your money right away? Like, just buy a European bank and hope for the best. <laughs> it has been, though, to be fair. This is not, you know, this is not anything new. To, it's to not be. new. But, like, what's scary to me is that, What's scary to me is that everyone takes the U.S. for granted and thinks it has to be this way and that we have like this built-in edge over the world, which we kind of do right now, but it's not a given. It's not a God-given right. It's earned. It's no, you – I right? mean, you, you realize some of these banks, you know, probably not the U.S. banks, but, you know, some of these banks could just – if you wake up and say, hey, you know, their whole under investigation, they're failing, stuff like that, like it could happen even in this day and age. Well, I like to think of black swans, right? I like to think of situations that nobody's pricing in that could like just like create like massive volatility, like massive mega volatility in markets. And my big black swan for this year is financial meltdowns, like isolated financial meltdowns. Because I think there's people that are, and, and it's very simple. It's a very simple theory, dude. Rates are going up and you have to pay debt based on interest rates that are floating. You're effed. Yesterday's price is not today's price. So if you had like your entire payroll, your entire like function of operating your company, your banking, if you had that based on interest rates, there's pressure right now, which is why I also think that these things can't get too out of hand, like from the Fed's point of view. So the United States government, just to finance our own massive mega debt is paying over a trillion dollars right now. 
Start of COVID, it was 250 billion. This year, it's a trillion. Okay. What happens if it goes to two trillion, three trillion? Then we're totally, like, then we can't give Zelensky that money right. he's before. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at some stocks. Let's look no, at we'll some stocks. We'll, 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 we'll always give him his money. You know, he'll, he'll just go to some award show, and, you know, raise as long it. as the big guy gets a kickback, right? So, right. coin is after the market. That's an interesting stock. Oh, God. Wait. You want to go junkie? This you want to go junkie? It went from like, what, 40 to 80, down to 60. Like, this stock moves in 50% increments like nothing. Yeah. It's almost like the baddest SI, uh, silver, speaking <laughs> of fit thing. Let's look at, let's take a look at coin, like, as you know, on a longer term basis first. Well, right? coin and let's do some square, square reports earnings too. Okay. So this is coin's daily chart. Yeah, look at that recent swing high and that pullback. <laughs> yeah, but you know what they say? There's a saying on the street, bro. If it printed that price, it can trade it again. Now Yay. this looks like a flash price, but for me, this is a uh, this is a guidepost if they beat to where the stock is going to trade. I think the stock could trade 25, 30 percent higher if they have a really good number. So let me ask you. I, I think I know the answer to this, but what is what is how does Coinbase trade up on earnings? What do you mean? How, oh, how, what do you mean? What do you say? Like how what much? It to trade higher. Uh, let, let's say let's say numbers or whatever, right? Let, numbers don't matter. Let's say they meet. The numbers come in line. What do they have to say for the stock to price up? They have to say that they're at, that 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 their user their user activity is is on the upswing. That more people are trading. That they're growing customers. That's what they and, have to say. And that's because of the stable, stabilization of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. And, they, also, and also because there's a, there's, a, there's a purge, FTX, all the fake. They have to say we're the real exchange. All the fake exchanges are going away, and that's good for us. And we've seen our users go up. That's what they have to say. The activity and our user growth because of the price increase Correct. in Bitcoin the previous quarter. Then the stock goes up 20%. So the stock is trading. This morning pre-market at $63.20. Okay. So I was just showing you that the stock printed $87 two weeks ago. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, okay, maybe $87 is a reach. It's not right? butter. It's like butter. $20 moves in coin base is like butter. Look how expensive this shit is, dude. Oh 300 percent implied volatility. Oh my God. What's the implied move? I can't see, but I'm I'm gonna assume probably $12. Yeah. Is it? I mean, let's go back and let's look at what they've done. God, this is what I hate. This is what I hate. Because I, I, I'm leaning bullish, but like they're making it almost impossible. Is it, you have to do like out the money bull call spreads. Yeah. If you want any kind of, you know, shot at like three to one on your money. But how would you structure that out of curiosity? Like maybe like the 75, 80 call spread. Yeah. You know, something like that. I mean, and then you're just, you know, I hate to say you're kind of like hoping and praying that the stock catches a bit that much. So you're basically doing a binary event for an out money call spread and hope they have a massive squeeze. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you could sell bull put credit spreads out of the money and maybe risk like 70 bucks to make 30 bucks for something more. This is just too high. I don't know. Yeah. Man. I'm crossing this off the list. Let's go on to the next stock. It's just... It's, it's, all right, let's do square. Let's do square. Okay. Let's do square. Square is going to be more reasonable. The stock's pulled back a lot. Um, you know, PayPal has decent earnings. Nothing crazy, but... What is square symbol again? S SQ. SQ, right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, there was a lot of call buying in it, and the stock went up, and now it's came back down a lot. Yeah. So even, even the big call players are definitely underwater on it. So this is a spot that the stock, like I like this chart, believe it or not, because the stock based, right? And then the stock had to move higher. And now it's pulled back like a decent, like a healthy pullback. And it's kind of, this is, this range, your downside is what, like 70-ish, high 60s. And your upside is like, again, where it printed. From a, yeah, where it printed. Where it printed, right? So if we look at, if we look at SQ, uh, let's look at SQ's options. $73 stock. It shouldn't be that bad. No, it's okay. I mean, it's 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 not cheap, but it's not Coinbase either. No, no. I mean, you got to think too. Square, go go to the uh, 
historic moves. It actually does move pretty well, I swear. We'll get to NVIDIA. We'll get to NVIDIA. I, 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 I got a, yeah, it had a 26% teaching. move last year, same quarter. See? Right. I like that. I like the historical patterns too. What are the, uh, what's the square 80s going for? The weeklies. Say $2. $2. $2. $2. Two ish. You got to admit, I am pretty good. I didn't even look at it. I said two bucks. Very good. <laughs> Very good. All right. I, think, uh, I think we get to the place we want to get to when we talk to each other on this stuff. What well, else? Let's, let's go, go to the, the king of chips. The video. I All just right. got on my machine, so I'm going to pull up some stuff, too. Let's just go straight to NVIDIA. Get down and dirty with it. Why not? Let's first take a look at NVIDIA. So implied one day move 6%. That ain't bad. It's, it's had a bunch of single-digit moves, though, right? It, it has, it, but this first, is a different environment, right? Yeah, it is. It is historically a volatility killer. It will like not move after earnings and then uh, get some legs. So it is historically a vol killer. That's why I'm curious to see where they're pricing it. Yeah. So the two hundred and the two thirties are trading at three bucks. I don't know. Oof. Oof. <laughs> And they're not making it easy for us today. They're not making it easy for us today. I don't think. Anyways, they really say either in terms of, uh, in terms of moving higher. Like, what if what does Nvidia say where the stock goes up? Like, we they say AI is mega, and we're gonna get so much money from Chat GBT and all their wannabe crony, you know side chicks and we're going to make a shit ton of money because we're the best chip maker and we're the only guys that can make advanced enough chip technology for ai and we're going to be the only ones for the next three years and so we're warning up then you're going to see the stock trade up in the 250 range but i don't know i don't know i don't know if they, i don't know if they're willing to say that in this environment but that actually is a really good bull case, is what you just said. It's a fundamental, it's a beauty case, because everybody wants AI. That's like the chronic story of everything, like right now, right? You know, I you're actually persuading me to be very, very bullish on NVIDIA. I'm looking at some AI stocks now. AI yeah. Is up, uh, well, not a dollar, about 50 cents pre-market. Stonehound is up a little bit pre-market. So the AI stocks are bid a little bit this morning. Yeah. It's too. You could probably play NVIDIA. You know, it's Here, down share, your, share your screen if you want. I just took it down. You want to share my screen? It's uh, here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, got, we're got, almost done anyways. Let's just sum it up for people. Coinbase, so, play NVIDIA, leaning bull, square to leaning bull. Or I think you could play um, tickers like AI, BBA, yeah. S-O-U-N. For Nvidia earnings, right? And that potential AI move if they mention AI. By the way, the markets are on the freaking dead low this morning. What a miserable tape. I mean, this tape just look at the spoos down forty. Just oh, yeah. Just yeah. it's a went from like the best trading market a couple weeks ago to like just. Okay. I mean, Walmart recovered only down about three and a half bucks, but like, there's just, there's just, there's just not no an look. easy time. Not an easy time. Definitely, yeah. definitely a time to scale back and lighten up and just be, you know, scale talk. down. That is, that is the number one thing that you could do right now is scale down your size. If you're used to trading 10 lots, trade five lots. You're used to trading 100 lots. Trade 50 logs. This is a historically kind of bearish time of year. Yeah. Uh, last couple of weeks, or, you know, early March, end of Feb, historically kind of shitty. Like last year, we had the Russia thing, remember? That was right around that. I mean, obviously, the market, you know, was in a different state last year. But just keep watching rates, too. Watch the short-term rates. They're squeezing everybody with those rates. You see rates yeah. to come down, that's going to be the juice for some rallies. We just need to, we need to see the rates stop going up two year watch the two year all right y'all happy week and uh let's go yeah scale down 
Oh, don't be a big dog. Maybe, maybe no tomorrow. crush Friday. No crush Friday. I'm traveling. I'm sorry, guys. But we'll be back next week. Well, no, uh, no crush Friday, but maybe tomorrow we get a turnaround Wednesday. We'll hope for that because uh, it's just a miserable Jen's thing. asking if we should exit our positions. I say no, not here. We, uh, we've, we've had two straight weeks down. We're having a continuation sell-off this morning to start a week. Definitely don't sell it right away. Definitely not. So I'd say hard to that. All right. Peace, y'all. I'll take the pain. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Wow. Look at all the love we're getting. Love you guys. Take it Thanks. easy.